always been a dream to want to build a house. I bought some land from my dad, which is part of the family farm here, and we started planning on what we wanted to do. In one of our processes, we wanted to have the lowest cost house that we could have, so when we retire, we can afford to live there. Energy efficiency was the way to help us drive our cost down. It was Steve's dream, but eventually it became my dream as well. One of the big motivating factors for the layout of the house is we've got a southwest view. You see a gorgeous sunset every night. This was really a family project. Our children helped us tremendously. Also, my brother-in-law was a general contractor for us. Uh, my brother, Greg Glanz, did all of our plumbing, which was phenomenal. And then many family members did work on the HVAC. This house uh, started with the design, and the design was already done by the Mosiers. What a wonderful design they had in mind. With Fox blocks in the basement, which are insulated concrete forms, right up through the wall system, which has an R24 insulation, a blown in Bad. which then gave us a really tight envelope and then in the ceiling we kept all our ductwork out of the ceiling so we have no penetrations besides our lights. And our lights we spray foamed around to make sure they were really, really tight and then we did our 49 blown in insulation in the ceiling. On our house you'll see the way it's insulated in the eaves. You won't see ice on our eaves in a cold because we're not losing energy up the walls or out through the ceiling. Just insulate the house right and you can save money. We installed a four ton geothermal heating and cooling system with a ERV, which is an energy recovery ventilator. That system is designed to harvest the BTUs out of the ground, which is a constant temperature year round, heating and cooling the home. And then we also have what is called an ERV or an energy recovery ventilator. Because the house is so tight, we actually have to bring fresh air into the home. And Steve has gone above and beyond most homes and install the CO2 sensor. It only comes on when the carbon dioxide reaches a certain level in the house. It takes the waste air out of the house and heats it as it goes through the HRV system and then dumps it into the heat pump and then distributes that completely throughout the house. I'm always cold, so I love the fact that this house is at a moderate temperature all the time. And that's really exciting for me. Everything's powered by solar. We did some investigation and we've decided to put solar on the shop down here behind me. The biggest challenge was just trying to figure out how to size what their usage was going to be. So we just put as much on that roof of the barn as we could. We actually put 92 panels on the roof. They were 270 watt LG panels DC. The run is 800 to 900 feet, which was a stretch for running 240 volt power, but we used really big wires and really big pipes and we made it work. We heard about the Zero Energy Challenge through our HERS Raider, Dave Kosky, and he educated us and, and was helping us with the paperwork and it's been a great thing. Well, this particular house came in with a minus 14 HERS score. It produces more energy than it consumes. The Zero Energy Challenge shows people that houses can be built energy efficiently for a reasonable cost. And I think that's really important for the public to know that. It's details, and if you do a good job, it's not that much more expensive. The Zero Energy Challenge really is a change of thinking for people. We have to think about how we would like to live in a home. We want to not have energy bills. We want to have a healthy house, a comfortable house. If you were given the opportunity to buy a car that didn't use gas and you never had to pay a thing to drive that car around, why wouldn't you want to have a home that you didn't have to pay anything to use other than the mortgage?